What's going on guys? Today we are looking at these door seals from Galoho. These were sent to me for free, uh, full disclaimer, uh, but they wanted me to share them with you. And these are designed to go along the edges of each door. The main purpose of these from the description is to reduce road noise. And I've seen some other reviews of these and you may have too. And some people say they work, some say they don't. Um, but there was actually a secondary purpose. I really wanted these. Uh, I'll show you a video clip, but the insides of the door sills, especially for me, they get super dirty. They allow dirt and water to come in. And when you put these on, I think they actually block anything from getting in the doors. Um, so I'm going to try them out. We'll test the sound on these, but the main reason I wanted them is to keep all of that dirt out. So we'll test that as well. So like all my review videos, I'll show you the final results first. And then at the end, if you're interested, I'll have the install. I'll show you how to install these. And if you are interested, my Amazon affiliate link will be in the description with a 15% off code, Tesla015, uh, to get 15% off of these. So let's open the box and check them out. Okay, so a thank you note. That's cool. And that's it, pretty straightforward. So here's all the pieces. So each piece is labeled for where it's supposed to go. Left front door, left rear door, A pillar, you get the point. So then you have a ton of these adhesion promoters. They have directions on the back. So they want you to clean the surface first. So before you use this, it should be clean. And then you wipe it uh, with this before you apply these and it'll help the adhesive stick to the door so they don't come off. So they have reasons for why you should use it. Reduce interior noise and wind noise. Eliminate collide sound when you close the car door. Okay, so closing the door should sound a little nicer. Improve vehicle's air tightness and dust proof cap. So this is what kind of I'm excited about. I think they're exaggerating that a little bit, but uh, I think it'll keep the dirt out of the doors. Improve air conditioning. Wow, I don't have a way to test that, but I, I doubt it. And then installation instructions, clean the surface and stick it on. <laughs> okay, those instructions are a little too simple in my opinion. So this is an important instruction. Your doors have holes in the bottom and these are for drainage because in the window of the door, water can get in. If it does, then it'll fall out of the bottom. You don't want to block that water in there. So as you can see, the car is filthy as usual. I am going to clean it. There's another product that I actually bought that I want to test out. Um, but what I was talking about when you open the doors and actually, if you've seen mother fr videos, he, no, I said mother frunker. If you've seen his videos, um, he, he's actually reviewed these, I think from a different company though. And he was telling me that it keeps all this dirt out of here. So you can see in here, how there's all that. It'll actually keep that out. And mine will, I, I cleaned the car not too long ago, but see there's all this dirt here. It'll actually keep it out of that area as well. Um, and that is the main reason I wanted these. I think that's a huge benefit. Even if the noise capabilities are exaggerated and I, I can't tell a difference in road noise, um, I would be excited just to not have to clean this all the time. So the install is done. Uh, I'm really liking the sound of the doors so far. The closing sound is a lot nicer. Uh, the look, I don't really notice them at all. The ones in the B pillars though, I actually really like the look of having that extra strip of black there. Um, but on the doors and stuff, I mean, so far I don't even really notice. So we're out here testing these strips. We're looking for sound and also keeping the dirt out. So I know even from one drive, my doors will get dirty in there. Um, so first impressions on sound, actually to be honest, when I first pull out of my driveway and I could hear kind of the gravel crunching against the tires, that was quieter. And even like right here, the ambient noises outside, they do seem quieter. They really do. But once you get up to speed, even 20 miles an hour, so we're going to get up here to about 60, uh, there is no difference. I, I can't tell a difference at all. So just listen for a second. And it's kind of a windy day, um, but to me, this is exactly the same. Yeah, it's the same as before. Um, but I was surprised when I first pulled out of the driveway and the crunch of the gravel under the tires was quieter. It really was. Um, I didn't expect that. So we're just going to turn around here, head back, uh, and look for any dirt in the doors. I'm going to hope it kept all the dirt out, um, and that will be that. Good news. Here we are back from the drive, and you can see... The inside here is nice and shiny and clean. It just takes one drive and I get all dusty. So that is really good. All right, so these little weather strips, are they worth it? For me, yes, definitely. Just for the fact that they keep the dirt out of the doors. I think that is a huge benefit. Um, again, for me, because I, I drive on dirt roads, if you drive on dirt or gravel roads ever, I think, I think this is probably worth it. They're like 30 bucks. They're not very expensive. They're a little bit of a pain to put in, but I mean, it took me 
I don't know, maybe a half hour, a little less than that. Uh, and they were in and I wasn't being too particular. I just kind of cleaned up and stuck them on. As for the sound, um, I actually did notice at very low speeds, less ambient noise outside, actually just sitting here in the car the wind noise is cut down um, and, and those outside noises are actually quieter, which I didn't think was going to happen, but, but it is there. Driving at speed, anything above even 15 miles an hour, I didn't notice any difference. I do recommend them just mostly for the dirt properties, keeping the dirt out of the doors. If you have any questions about these, leave them below. I'll get back to you in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. So we're going to be doing this in the garage because it's really windy out. Um, so first thing, you want to make sure you're all clean. So once everything is clean, you just want to take a look at these directions. You can pause there if you want to see them a little longer. Um, but it just tells you where to put each piece. The A pillar is in the front, then the front door, B pillar is in the middle, and then the rear door. So the B pillar is probably the easiest, so honestly I think I'm going to start with that. And then you take one of these adhesion promoters. So this is what it looks like, and you just wipe the surface that you're going to stick that to. Uh, here is the B pillar bag, and you can see there are two separate pieces in this bag. So piece one and piece two, because uh, they're the same on both sides. So you just take one out, do this side, and then the other one for the other side. So here's the front. This is what you'll see when the door is open. This is the back, and i got to assume that this piece here, so the directions, they just say stick it on. <laughs> they don't tell you, but i got to assume that this piece kind of wraps around right here, and then you take the red part off and it sticks on. So let's just try it, see what happens. So I just took off some of the red. I don't want the sticky stuff getting everywhere. I'm going to wrap that on there. And I want this to actually go under this piece that was already in the car. So yeah, this looks really good. This is the right way. This piece wraps around the door. You can see here, I have this piece here that's gonna grab on to the door, and then you can push it on so that it sticks. And then you can see there's some extra here. Um, this kind of fringed part ends here. So I'm gonna just cut that off. I left just a little bit extra here at the bottom. So I didn't wanna cut off too much. I'd rather have a little tiny bit hanging down here. Um, but now this is actually fits really well. It was kind of a pain to get on there uh, and I wasn't sure that it was going to fit all that well. But here it is from the side. It's hard to see because it's all dark um, and my car is dark. But this is the rubber. So you can see this rubber piece, I can probably still peel it off, it's kind of hugging the, the door there. Um, and it's just fitting perfectly and then with the uh, sticky part, it's not going to come off of there at all. Especially I think once you kind of start closing the door it'll secure it on there. And here's the driver's side without that rubber piece. You can see this uh, black piece here came with the car. And then here there's none of that rubber, like now I have it on passenger side. Right, so now we're doing the passenger door, right front. It doesn't say passenger front, but I think this has got to be it. Uh, you always want to start with the passenger side because I want to do the driver's side the best. So I'll practice on the passenger side. So just to be sure that right front means passenger side, so I'm going to line this up here. You can see, again, there's some extra. But, uh, yeah, this clearly goes along the bottom. And then this thinner part is going to go along the edge here. Start down here at the corner. Remember, the fat piece goes on the bottom. And the skinny piece goes all up along the side of the door here. And you want to be right on the edge. So this is actually pretty easy. This is maybe easier than the one I started with. 
I'm not gonna pull too hard on this. I'd rather it be kind of squishy in here uh, rather than tight and thin. I think it'll work better if it's a little fatter. I'm just using my finger to kind of line this up with the edge of the door. I'm just finishing this up. Uh, a couple times I actually peeled back. I pulled back because I was going too much in. You probably don't want to do that. I imagine the adhesion is not nearly as good now, but I'm doing my best. Okay, and then it's right up against this piece. And there's already a little bit of hard rubber here from Tesla. So I'm not going to interfere with that. I'm just going to stop right there and cut that off. So again, there's some hard rubber here from Tesla. I think it was a little blurry. Um, and I just cut this off right at it. I, I left Tesla's rubber. Of course, I'm not going to interfere with their stuff. Okay, and then the most important part, there's drainage here, and there's drainage here, which I didn't actually really cover. Um, but over here, this looks a little wobbly. It's my fault. Um, but this drainage here, you can see there's a hole back there. I need to cut out that there. Probably better to cut this before you put it on. But again, that's why I do the passenger side first, so I can do the driver's side better. Okay, so now my drainage hole is clear, so it's all good. Next up is right rear door or rear passenger door. This piece is pretty similar to the front door, except the whole thing is kind of the same thickness as the bottom of the front door. Whereas the front door on the side, it was very thin. This thing is the same size the whole way. This is also just one big, long strip. There isn't a corner here anywhere. Well, there isn't really a good indication of which side goes where, but if we follow the same as the front door, this thin piece uh, goes on the outside and the sticky part goes in. So it would go like this. Um, so let's do it. So I'm gonna start this one at the top. Let's see how that does. Just as I'm going, I'm pulling that down so it's not exposed and getting dirty. Here we are going along the bottom. We have a drain right here, so I'm gonna cut now. I think they want you to just cut a hole in it, but uh, I'm just going to cut it out. Okay, so just a close up here to show you, start it up here in the corner, all the way down. This is the rubber, and then we stopped here. Again, I apologize, it's all very dark. And then I just cut it off there for the drainage hole. And then we continue along the bottom, cut off for that drainage hole there, and went all the way to the edge, and then I cut it off at the edge. So those were all actually pretty easy. Now we're on to the hard one, the A-pillar. Okay, so here is where the last one goes. So we're looking at the passenger side door, and it goes on the door, like right here like right here on the door. So you can see where we did this one. So you can see where we did this one down here. It'll actually line up. Oh, I, I didn't put enough here. So I'm gonna add some more here from what I have left over. They'll line up at this corner on the door. So I still need to clean this. I didn't clean that yet, you can see. And then I'll do the adhesion promoter uh, and I'll get that on there somehow. And man, is it dark in there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be really difficult. But we can do it. Right? Okay, I think I have an approach here. I'm gonna string this down in there. That's what I'm gonna do. And then it will be ready. It'll be in position for me to stick it on everywhere. Okay, all right, all right, not bad. So now let me just, let me just show you what I did. Okay, so I really don't have a great way to film this, um, but what I did is I just strung it back there behind everything. You can see it's back there, and I'm just gonna take it a little bit at a time and take the red stuff off, stick it on, and keep going. Uh, they do say in the directions to hold it on for a second as you're sticking, 
uh, which I haven't really been doing. I feel like the door will do that for you, but just so you know, the directions, read the directions, the, the little bit of directions they give you before you do it. Also, with these things, they only gave you 10, so now I kind of am in a pickle because I use way too many, but <laughs> I'll figure it out. You can't see, but I'm starting at the top. This is very difficult. But now that the top is stuck on, I can just kind of use one hand in, at a time in there, slowly pull off the red stuff. So I'm slowly pulling off the tape, as you can see here, and I'm just sticking on a little bit at a time with one hand, and I can use one hand to line it up and press it down so that it sticks. I have one hand in there, I line it up with the edge, and then I push on it to get it stuck in there. So pulling, pulling this tape off just a little at a time, one hand in, line it up with the edge, and then stick it on. It's kind of a pain, but it's not as bad as I thought. It's, it's going on there, okay? All right, and we're all the way at the bottom, and we're done. That actually just took a minute. It wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought that was going to be terrible, but um, that worked out really well. If you have any questions about these, leave them below. I'll get back to you in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.